Miss Lastic, the young master has sent me to get you. Good morning. The young master said he would have come to get you himself, but had to get to court early to talk to someone. Court? Ah, yes. There's a trial being held today for a runaway diviner recently caught. Poor young master must be heartbroken about it. The diviner is a childhood friend of his. Neil. Huh. Do you know of Neil Rowan also, miss? Yes, he's like a friend of mine. I told you, Neil is not a threat! He hasn't caused any problems during the four years he's been a runaway. Don't you think stripping his magic away is too harsh? Young master, I understand he is a good friend of yours. However, a criminal is a criminal, and we must obey the law of knights. If we do not follow the procedures, how are we going to keep order in this city? Friend of mine or not, he's not a threat! My apologies. As I said, I must follow the procedures, but I will allow you to visit him afterwards. <laughs> Fine. What happened? They won't listen to me. <sighs> what a way to start the morning. So much for being the young master of Korra. What about your father? Couldn't you have asked for his help? He's away on a trip to finalize trade agreements with different cities. Talk about the perfect timing. Sorry to have surprised you with this. I only found out about Neil's trial this morning, so I sent Simon to get you while I came to see the Executor. <sighs> we better get in. Yeah, fortunately Korra is such a peaceful city like that. But when a trial like this is held, it attracts people's attention. It's an entertainment to some. Oh, how horrible. And I thought I could be rude. <laughs> you, Neil Rowan, understand why your magic is being stripped away, and that this is for a greater cause. If that makes you feel better, sure. Though I don't see how taking one's power away is for a greater cause. Untrained magic is dangerous, and it's feared by civilians. We can't risk the safety of people. I've been a runaway for four years now, and never caused any trouble. Isn't that why you guys had a tough time finding me? Enough! I won't allow any taunts. Step forward, and place your hands on the bloodstone. What's going on? What's that glowing redstone? That's a bloodstone. A bloodstone? Wait, I'm confused. I thought only sources can take away and grant powers. Well, I thought only bloodstones can strip magic. That's how we've been taught. That stone, the bloodstone, is the rarest of stones with very unique abilities. Both helpful and dangerous. When touched, it'll strip one's power of magic away. Only blades are able to touch bloodstones without that happening to them. Great. It can strip one's magic. And that's supposed to be helpful? It can strip away one's power when touched. But if a diviner is able to cast a spell on it without touching the bloodstone, it can act as a host for the spell without presence of diviner. Most villages, towns, and cities have a bloodstone or two to keep their barrier magic up to shield their village from magical creatures. Something tells me that the one we see is not for keeping a barrier magic. No, it's to strip away Neil's magic, or what's left in him. I, I can't watch this.
What is this? What have you done? I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Do not play dumb with me. The Bloodstone is supposed to strip away all of your magic, and I am sure this is not all of it. As you said, it stripped all the magic I had in me. You were considered to be the Diviner with the brightest future. I've heard of your power from when you were in Blades Academy. This can't be all of it. What did you do with your magic? Well, it's been four years since I stopped using magic, so maybe the magic in me just... disappeared? Place your hand on it again! Are you satisfied now? It's gone, as you can see. Guards! Take him away! Now you have to promise not to cry. Neil's not going to like seeing that, okay? I won't. I'll be strong. I have to be strong. Good. Good evening, guard. Young master. Uh, yes, but just Max will do. I'm here to see my friend in prison. But without the Lord's permission. My father? He let me go see an old friend, no problem. Besides, even the Executor has agreed to let me see him. Now, is that good enough? I... I am sorry, sir. Neil, are you okay? How did you get in here? I asked the guard for a favor. I hate to admit it, but being the young master of Korra came in handy. Are you hurt? Did they hurt you? I'm telling you if they hurt you, I'll- Plastic, calm down. I'm okay. I saw them strip your magic. I'm so sorry. <sighs> so you saw. I'm fine. So stop with the tears and sorries. We'll figure out a way to break you out of here. It's no use. If I were going to break out like that, I would have just ran away after transferring my magic to Lastic. Now that I'm imprisoned, they're sure to question me about having an accomplice if I were to break out. And since you three visited me, they'll question you. Perhaps when Father comes back. Look, Max, I appreciate you trying to help me, but your father is a just and honest man. He's not going to make an exception just because I was a childhood friend of yours, or because I'm a Rowan. As the Law of Knights defines it, I am a criminal for running away with untrained magic. Then, what do we do? I mean, what do I do? I was thinking, maybe if we could fake a death, my death, I could go free. Okay, tell me what to do and I'll make it happen. Wait, perhaps your magic and me can make it happen. That's the thing. I don't have such power and I don't know how. I've only heard of such a thing. Great, so it's a dead end. <laughs> I don't even know why I bother anymore. Rylan! Shh, great. The orange head is making us look suspicious. And here I thought you two might be getting along. Sorry. Anyway, I'll find a way. We have a pretty large log of books in the library. And that's where we will start. Maybe we should have asked Rachel to come with us. Source, source, source. <sighs> Nothing. I've searched this whole entire library and not one book mentions sources. I know this library is small compared to most, but how can there be absolutely no information? At least I did find a little more about imprinting, but it isn't as much as I wanted. Imprints can be done between or amongst knights with different titles to become stronger by sharing their energy. Imprints must be done with mutual agreement, and once imprinted, it can't be undone. By sharing energy, knights may be able to gain more powers. For example, if a blade were to imprint with a diviner, 
The blade may be able to perform small magic on their own, and the diviner will be able to perform higher level of magic as the blade's core is much larger in general. In order to imprint, the knights must drink a special potion mixed with their blood. Ah, look at the time! It's already so late. I'd better hurry before the doctor's office closes. Oh, thank goodness you aren't closed yet. Aha! You came just in time. I was about to put up the close sign. I'm sorry about coming so late. Is the medicine ready? Of course. It took a while to get some of the herbs, but luckily they were selling it in a nearby city. They were expensive, though. Those herbalists care only about money and care nothing about sick ones. How terrible. I really appreciate you going out of your way for this. Here are the coins for the medicine. Thank you. I still can't believe that boy Rylan worked on campus and saved up so much money for your grandmother. I suppose I judged him wrong. He can be quite a sweetheart. Thank you for the medicine. Have a good night. this place has bloodstones. It doesn't look promising. I say we just head to Cora City as we planned. I am sure of it. I've been keeping an eye on this village and saw no creatures come by. This place is definitely protected with fairy and magic. Cast it over a bloodstone or two. It has to. What do you think, Lucian? Cow has a point. Good job, cow. <laughs> Even if they don't have any bloodstones, you two needed a bit of fun anyway. I've got my sack ready! Halt! Who's there? Yeah, a guard! Hey, guard, how much do you have on you? Let us through, old mister. It's late. I must check your identification. You hear that? Do you know who you're dealing with? Now, quiet. Identifications, now. <laughs> Search the village. And have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look here. We got a diviner, but with such a weak core. How interesting. It is faint, but... Ah, yes. Another source. You know a source, don't you? I... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you can pretend all you want, but I sense a source on you. But how fascinating. I don't recognize this source's energy, and, and here I thought I knew all the sources. <laughs> nothing! This place has nothing to take! Nothing valuable! What a waste of time! I told you we should just go to Korra! Aww, I was sure this place would have a bloodstone or two! The bloodstones? I haven't heard of such things. Liar! That's enough, Cal. This one really is clueless. Just what I expect from a weak cord diviner. Can we go to Cora City now? At least we know they have one there for sure. <laughs> <laughs>